it's a whole new world. What's good, YouTube? I'm God Nat, and today we are back with the first vlog of 2020. And what a way to come back. We're coming back doing the shopping spree, and I know. Before you guys get on to me, Nat, you said you were going to do Vlogmas and you abandoned us. You left the man them stranded with no content. Listen, I apologize. But as I was doing Vlogmas, I came to the realization that it was distracting me quite a lot from business. And I'm someone who takes New Year's very seriously, especially when it's a new decade. I wanted to make sure that I could hit the ground running. And Vlogmas was just kind of stopping me from being able to focus on that. So I had to focus on business, trying to achieve my goals this year, which is always a priority. And while I was doing that, I was thinking about my New Year's resolutions and what I wanted to achieve in 2020. And one of the biggest things for me was kind of looking back at how I got here. I remember when I was working full time or when I was dropping out of college and how much I'd wake up every morning feeling unmotivated, hating what I was having to do, but understanding that I needed to make money. So one of my biggest New Year's resolutions was to try and come up with a way that I could help as many of you who are in that same position find more financial success this year. And in order to do that, I needed to create some form of process that could teach you step-by-step step how to build an online business and make at least 100 pounds a day from it. That way you can hopefully stop doing stuff that you don't enjoy doing for income. But I also had to make sure that it was extremely affordable so everyone could do it, no matter what position you're in at the moment, no matter if you're unemployed or if you're working full time and just wanna make a change. So I've made a free 12 part course. It's free, won't cost you a penny. If you wanna go and get your hands on it, all you have to do is click the link in the description. It is only gonna be available for a limited time. Um, so if you're watching this video, make sure you click the link in the description. If it's something that you wanna do, if you wanna learn how to build a business that can make you at least a hundred pounds a day. But now let's head to central London. So guys, we just got pulled up in London where by Harrods and Harvey Nicks and stuff. I did debate going to Selfridges because I know Selfridges got some stuff in stock that I kind of wanted to try and pick up, but I just felt like I got more options to pick up more stuff if I'm my Harvey Nicks and Harrods. So first things first, we're going to head over to Harvey Nicks, see what drip they've got. I'm kind of really just trying to focus on Rude clothing and Harvey Nicks is like the only place in London now that stocks Rude. I think Harrods stopped stocking it and so did Selfridges and I looked at their latest collection. It looks fine. So I'm going to check out some of the rude bits. Check out some Fear of God as well. I need to pick up a bunch of new joggers. So we're going to be shopping for quite a bit today. Let's make our way into Harvey Nick, see what they got. Guys, also yesterday I booked my tickets for Bowling Loud Europe with Austin. We booked the tickets, we booked the hotel, we booked the flight. And what Austin go ahead and do? book them for the wrong month so now we have to cancel the flights try to rebook other flights i told her to get the insurance so we get refunds on the tickets just in case what you do nah we don't need it all right guys so we just got into the fitting room i've seen a couple of balenciaga bits of course that the boy was feeling so we got this green balenciaga t-shirt the green hoodie i'll probably only get one or the other i doubt i'll get both um, and then this black paris hoodie which came out a little while ago but i did think it was fire when i first seen it and as we're trying to find some new drip today i thought I might as well try it on see what the fit's like so let's get these on let's see if we're feeling anything let's see if we're making any cops all right so here we got the t-shirt you guys already know what i'm gonna say fam oh my god on the back you got the balenciaga print too now I'm wearing my pouch at the moment because the boy got a new microphone, trying to make the audio a little bit better. But fit of this is fire. I didn't expect the neck to be this tight. Something I've noticed with the Balenciaga t-shirts is it's like they've changed the material on them. You used to get like a mix match. Some of them used to fit fire and then the other ones, it would be like a really thin material that I weren't really feeling. Like I'd still buy the t-shirts and then I'd never end up wearing them because I just weren't feeling the fit. It looks like they've stepped the game up massively now. So this is definitely fine. I'm gonna try on the hoodie, but I think this t-shirt's like automatic cop. Listen, if we're keeping it 100, they're just undefeated, isn't it? Like the fit is just wavy. I've missed Balenciaga, honestly. I, I've, been, I've been playing around. I've neglected Balenciaga for the last couple of months. I hope they accept my apology because your boy is back and this, is fire yeah cool they're both getting copped it's a bit weird that i'm copping two in the same colorway coming a bit like a mannequin vibe but let me know what you guys think in the comment section but i'm thinking these fits are crazy all right guys can we say free for free like it's a clean sweep we gotta pick them all up that's fire too no 
Let me know in the comment section. I don't know, maybe I'm just gassed up because it's been a minute, but these are all looking like big drip to me. So my thought process is, I'm gonna get them to hold these. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna check out Rude. I'm gonna check out Fear of God too. And then if there's any heat down there, then we'll put it all together and we'll make some cops. But this is a cop. The greens are cop. The t-shirts are cop. I'm just feeling it all, man. It looks like their Rude collection is kind of limited. Like on the Rude website, there's, they've got so much fire and new season stuff. And they've definitely got a couple of stuff that I'm feeling, so we're going to pick up a couple of stuff to try it on, see what the fit's saying. And if we like it, then we'll cop some stuff. Hi guys, I'm very due to get some more training. Like I feel like I haven't been training shopping in forever. So any of you who are the plants, hit me up because your boy needs these, your boy needs these, your boy needs these, these. Are you just highlighting everything? But all the air forces, I don't know, I need a lot of these Nike off whites, man. So if you're plugged, let your boy know. Alright guys, so they're just getting me sizes in a couple of the very pieces, as well as these fear of God joggers that I see. I'm also back on the gym hype, I know. Last year I said transformation video, da 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 da. Your boy lost weight, but then relapse. I enjoy fatty food, but we're back on the gym hype, so I'm seeing if they've got some of these Nike off white runners in a uh, in my size, and if they do, then we'll probably cop those as well. Alright guys, so we just got into the fitting rooms again. So we got this uh, Rude hoodie. I'll show you guys what it looks like properly when we get on. I got this Rude t-shirt as well, um, also in white. I'm not planning on copying this t-shirt, it's just so I can get a feel for what their t-shirts fit like, so that I can order some pieces online. And I also picked up these yellow Fear of God joggers, which look super fire. So let's see what the fit's like. A bit annoying that all the fits are getting broken up by my pouch with the mic on it, but hopefully it's making the audio sound a lot better. I like the fit of this, to be fair. Always good to have fire white hoodies too, especially with summer coming up when we're trying to do brighter vibes. But I'm feeling this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Only thing that I'm a bit reserved about is a couple of my Rude hoodies now have this exact same print on the back, which is like the Rude triangle. That's not a major issue, but it's just like, I feel like, once you've got three, four hoodies with the exact same back design, it's kind of like at what point do you stop? Um, but I think this is fire. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But I'm kind of feeling this. All right, guys. And then here we got the yellow Fear of God joggers, which definitely look like a vibe. You got the little Fear of God logo right there. You got the super long strings. I just think when it comes to joggers, Fear of God be the greatest right now. You got these uh, the little cable strings that you can pull to tighten it around uh, around your legs so that you can wear them kind of lifted like I'm wearing them now and just secure them in place. These are fire. Um, I think I'm gonna have to cop. I'm gonna probably regret it because 900 pounds on some joggers is wild. Let me know what you guys think of these yellow joggers in the comment section below. Is this a worthwhile cop or no? So in my opinion, we're gonna cop the joggers. We're gonna pick up this hoodie. We're gonna pick up the Balenciaga hoodie. I'm probably just gonna get the black one. Maybe I won't get the green one. Austin weren't really feeling the green hoodie, and um, but she was feeling the green t-shirt. So probably the green t-shirt, black hoodie, this hoodie, and the yellow joggers. Let's run up them racks, boy. So we just left Harvey Nicks. As I said, I felt like the staff were just super local whenever we were trying to film in there. Um, but we copped up a couple pieces. We got the uh, two hoodies, we got the t-shirt, and we got the joggers. I always feel like Harvey Nicks always cram all of your clothing into like the smallest possible bags like just give your boy the big bag make me feel good about myself but we're about to make our way to harrods now i heard that they've got some fear of god essential stuff in there so we're about to make our way into harrods now we'll try those on make some more cops we'll see if there's any other fire in there as well All right, guys, so we just got into the changing room at Harrods, picked up some of the Fear of God Essentials joggers uh, in grey and in white. Like, I feel like I've wanted white bottoms for the longest and I can just never find any. Like, I really wanted to get some of these uh, shadow cargo pants from Stone Island in white. They never made those. For whatever reason, I don't know, I thought that would have been fire. Um, so I'm gonna try on those white joggers, see what they look like. And then I also picked up this Fear of God Sixth Collection uh, crew neck. Neck looks like it's slightly a bit wide, but let's try it on, see what the fit's in. All right guys, so I thought I'd try it all on at the same time. The jumper's okay, it's a good fit. It's not all that though, for 600 pounds, I think I ain't gonna miss out on not copying this. That's what the back looks like. 
Once again, like it's a, it's a nice piece. It's pretty cool as a whole tracksuit, but I think I'd prefer to just grab the hoodie for the God Essentials bottoms that actually goes with the bottoms because there's a bit of a color difference. So I think I'll probably go ahead and do that. But these are the joggers. You can see down on the leg, you got the Fear of God Essentials, which is like a 3M reflective. You also got the Essentials uh, logo there as well. So those are fire in the gray, definitely copping the bottoms, probably gonna leave the top. I'll see what Austin thinks though, and then I'm gonna try on the uh, white bottoms now, see what you guys think. All right, and then these are the white Fear of God Essentials joggers. You can't really see them too well because they're white, obviously, it's hella bright. But these are a vibe and the Fear of God Essentials stuff, value for money is ridiculous. So I'm gonna cop these two joggers. We're gonna go ahead and leave the jumper. But I think both of the joggers are fire. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's go pick these up. So we just got done up in Harrods. We picked up those two uh, Fear of God Essentials joggers. It was funny actually, when I was inside Harrods, I ended up bumping into someone who said that they had got my affiliate secrets course and had started building their own affiliate marketing business and started generating money from it, which was good to know. If any of you are wanting to get your hands on that free course that I put together, uh, so that you can hopefully start building your own business online and start making at least a hundred pounds a day, then click the link in the description below. But that's bringing this video to an end. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It feels good to be back making YouTube videos. If you're not already, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, which is God underscore Nat. I'm doing giveaways every single day for the rest of this month. So you can win at least 50 pounds every day. So if you want to get in on the chance to win some money, then go follow me on Instagram, which is God underscore Nat. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't miss me too much.